amazing to see all of you here together with us. And also it's bittersweet because we shouldn't have to keep having these kind of marches and we shouldn't have to keep uniting underneath events of sadness. My name is Jennifer Carter and I'm one of the co-founders and leaders of the Shaker Anti-Racism Coalition. Woo! Woo! Woo we are in partnership with Keith Wilson and Shaker for Black Lives. Woo! So thank you for their amazing support. Yay! And um, we have Keith Naoli, Ari Ike, Christopher Clater, who I affectionately call Ife. He is one of the speakers. Um, I met him when he was, I want to say a teenager, and we worked on the Obama campaign. And I just fell in love with Ife. You could see the passion and how he had the heart for activism. And I'm so proud of the man he's become today. And it's an honor to be able to introduce him. So ladies and Jennifer, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Good afternoon. Here we are. I'm just going to shout. <laughs> and I'll back up. Here we are, almost a year later, and I have to ask, are you tired yet? Are you exhausted? Yes. Are you directly affected by these tragedies or are you an ally? Or are you a bystander? The answer is yes. We are all directly affected. If you think that this does not affect you, I hate to tell you, but you're wrong. This affects all of us. None of us on this planet can be immune to this toxicity. To quote Hillary Clinton on election night in 2016, this hurts and it will for a long time. It might be more appropriate to quote Fannie Lou Hamer and say honestly, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And the question is, now what? Do we cry? Do we curl up in a ball, scream? Stay up all night, unable to comprehend exactly what is going on. I'll tell you, I've done pretty much all of that. And a little bit has been helpful to the world beyond myself. The one suggestion I have is to act. We cannot sit on the sidelines. We have to act. We as individual citizens of our community have to ensure that these tragedies do not happen here. How? Do we read? Do we go to council meetings? Do we post on social media? Yes. We have to do everything possible because when it feels like the world is falling apart around us, the only thing I can think to do to make myself feel better is rebuild a world that is better. We can't curl up in a ball. As much as I wish that we could ignore these issues away, rather than spending the emotional labor of addressing them, we cannot. This isn't to say that there's one answer or that any one of us has all the answers, but we cannot become so lost in despair and anger that we stop trying. My black life and the lives of my family and friends depend on all of us continuing to strive for justice. And so we'll take this march to show our community and the world that we will not be silent and we will not stop striving. Thank you.
silence. If you're just sitting there, then you're in agreement or you're just, you're too passive to do anything about what's going on, which is murder by police. It's murder by police. I mean, let's just say it how it is. And uh, we, like Eva said, we've been out here. I mean, we're all tired of being out here, but we're gonna be out here until there's justice and safety and a life that, that any human being deserves. This is about humanity to me. It's about humanity. So um, again, I wanted to thank you for coming out. I want to also say that Jenny is here. Jenny, can you? Yeah, there's Jenny, and she's got a couple students here, and they can help you get vaccinated. If you're having trouble making appointments, or if you're on the web or calling up like, I don't know what, it can be really confusing. So Jenny and her students can help you. You can hook up with them as we march or afterwards. And thanks for coming out, Jenny, and getting us all back to yeah. a normal life. Ooh, more or less, whatever that means. So um, we're going to be getting ready to march. We are going to be marching together up to the police station. Um, you'll see we have Virginia and Keith and Lisa in the green vest. They're going to be your guides on our walk. And um, we're going to just walk safely up on the sidewalks to the Shaker Heights Police Department. We'll have a, a short speech there as well. And then we will disperse. So um, Keith is going to say just a few words. And again, I wanted to thank you for coming out. And applaud if you're tired of this. Give me an applause. And, sh and shark. We didn't know them before, but we've come together in the past few months, and we've become like sister groups. Um, we both uh, both groups formed after the uprisings last summer. Um, groups of people who knew each other just said, "Hey, we need to do something about this. Let's form uh, and organize and figure out what we can do." Um, Shake Heights for Black Lives decided that what we wanted to do was get behind the movement for black lives. They have an extensive policy agenda, and they're abolitionist, they're anti-capitalist, because they believe that's the only way that we're going to be able to um, get past the constant problem of police violence. And so we tried to find ways within our community that we can make reforms that also uh, comport with, with that ideology. So. The thing that we've been doing is helping the city put together a mental health response team that would not send police um, to mental health crises when they get calls. Uh, so we were really happy to say I was really happy last summer when I got a call from a councilman, uh, Trey Roder, saying, hey, Keith, we're working and we want to get this started and there's actually energy behind it now because of the uprising. So we've been meeting with them and working with them, figuring out what the best model is. Um, we were sad to learn in February that the city was planning to go with a model with more police training, and, and, but still to send the police officers to the, to the mental health training. And so this past week, we put out an open letter on Facebook um, saying, explaining why we think this is the wrong, um, the wrong way forward, explaining that there's a movement across the country where cities um, from Denver, uh, in, in Oregon, they've had this for 30 years, where they have a community, um, they have community-led groups, um, not community-led, but non-police groups, with social workers and clinicians that that we know that this model can work. So if you want to get involved with that and support it, you can read our letter. We're at the Shaker Heights for Black Lives Facebook page. If you're not on Facebook, you can email me at, uh, you can email our group at shakerheights4blacklives at gmail.com. That's a four, the, the, the numeral four. So with, with that, um, I hope, uh, that you will march with us uh, down the street. We're going to go to
to Chagrin, take a left on Chagrin. I'll be in the front. When we get to Lee, we'll stop there, and wait for, the, make sure everybody is in the group is together. We'll take a right and walk up to the police department at that point. Um, so thank you all for coming. Unless you got somebody for your sticks. Yeah. Wish I would have had mine for that. Turn this on for a uh, Yeah, if you, if you hear something real good, grab me and pull me over and we'll grab one with that. Actually, I can get an ass off of this. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. 